looking at him as they close in on Terry's face. Those eyes look a little moist. And for that 66-year-old baseball lifer, why not? He's earned it. Now the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. Put it in the books. The New York Mets have won the 2015 National League Eastern Division Championship. And the Mets pile out of the dugout and come out of the bullpen and begin the celebration up the first baseline to the right of the mound. They're mobbing each other. They are on their way down the dugout steps into the clubhouse. And so to everyone in the Mets organization from Fred Wilpon and Saul Katz and Jeff Wilpon to Sandy Alderson, the general manager who put it all together with a classic remake right around the trade deadline to Terry Collins and the coaching staff and everyone wearing a uniform as players for the New York Mets. Congratulations. The Mets have won the National League's Eastern Division Championship for 2015. And he threw it right past Crawford for out number one. And he sets down the 21-year-old rookie. Kendrick will be on the move at first. There he goes. And Gonzalez goes down swinging. Tried to check his swing. He didn't think he went, obviously. Well, he's arguing with the home plate umpire because Alan Porter called it. Nothing irks hitters more than the home plate umpire calling that. And DeGrom strikes him out. All six outs have been by the K. He struck him out. And his Mets have a one nothing lead here in the fourth. And he fooled Ethier for the first out. Struck out his first time, popped to short his second time, and strikes out to lead off the fifth. Tried to check. And that is a one, two, three inning for Jacob DeGrom. And he got him swinging. He got him. Through that spot and still a little bit left in his tank. 13 strikeouts for Jacob DeGrom. The pitch. Swing and a shot towards center. Base hit, David Wright. Two runs are going to score. Granderson races to third. He's there. Mets three. And the Dodgers nothing. David Wright pounds a fastball up the middle. And when he got to first base, he made a, a fist with his right hand. And it's like he was trying to knock out Rocky Balboa. And as we talked about earlier, Granderson really the only Met that has had any success against Anderson. One of two Mets has even faced him more than once. First pitch on the way, hit in the air, deep to center. Back goes Hernandez, it's over his head, and off the wall! In comes Darno. in comes Flores, here comes Lagares. he scores standing! A double, and three runs batted in for Curtis Granderson, and the Mets have come right back to take a four to three lead! It's built a little differently than old Shea was. But if this place was ever going to sway a little bit the way the old ballpark did, this would be the time. Cespedes is two out of two with a couple of runs scored. Oh. And that ball is absolutely scorched to left. Three run shot. And the Mets have blown it open. Yoannis Cespedes. Oh my goodness. Down low and Duda's going to check again with Cedarstrom. Make sure that is ball four. They're at first and second. You know, here's an interesting oh. stat. And look at Murphy taking third. That's because of the shift. No one got over the third base. Everyone on the right side, no one guarding third base, and Murphy takes advantage of it. How about this? So it's a walk. Now he takes it. He takes a look at who's there. And you see the third baseman is Justin Turner, who's still on the right side. Nobody over there to cover. Heads up by Murphy. 
Murphy with a double, a single, and then it wasn't exactly his wild run to third. He was very much under control when Duda walked. Payoff pitch. Swing and a drive deep to right, down the line, and there it goes. Daniel Murphy, a home run, has given the Mets the lead here in the sixth inning. It is three to two New York. Murphy's third hit of the game, and Daniel Murphy is writing some kind of story. Whether this is his swan song as a Met or not, who knows? But he has just given the Mets the lead for the second time in this game. Mets glory on Dodger Stadium turf. And Familia, one strike away. You could hear the nervous murmur from the crowd and hear the heartbeats of Mets fans 3,000 miles away. The 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed strike three, put it in the box. The New York Mets are going to the National League Championship Series. Familia jumped on by Travis Darno. The Mets pour out of the dugout, pour out of the bullpen. They're mobbing each other at the pitcher's mound. The New York Mets have defeated the Dodgers in five games of the division series. They win game five, three to two. You've heard it all along. We, we have a tough game. We, something doesn't go right, and we bounce back. We've done it all year long. And, and tremendous heart. I mean, there's nothing else to say. These guys are, we got some young guys and some veteran guys. They've meshed together, and it's been a blast. Cranky was pitching his heart out tonight. He threw you, the ball really well. You connected on the home run. What'd you see there? Um, man, we, we went back and forth that hole at bat. Um, you know, he threw the ball so well. He's got such a great changeup. He locates so well. And, you know, I get 3 2 right there. And I finally get a heater kind of in the zone. I've been looking in all night. It was the middle end. And, you know, I'm able to keep it fair. Jacob DeGrom, every bit the bulldog that Oral Hershiser was all those years ago. And Daniel Murphy has the game of his life with probably the most famous stolen base in Mets history, the catalytic agent. And later, Murphy hit what proved to be the game-winning home run. The Mets and the Cubs in the National League Championship Series. Yeah, I mean, uh, I knew today was a big game, and I knew Grinky going over there would probably be a close game. And uh, I knew I didn't, from the first inning I didn't have my best stuff, but I was just trying to keep us in that game. You know, and Murphy had some great base running, and then the homer to put us ahead. <laughs> Very different experience for me. Um, just the, the confidence that Terry has in me to go out there and pitch that inning, especially with the lead, instills a lot of confidence in myself. Um, once I got out there, <clears throat> Travis met me at the mound, and first thing he said to me was just one pitch at a time. And that's all I was focused on is being able to execute one pitch at a time. Let's go, Mets! Let's go, Mets! Let's go, Mets! Let's go, Mets! It's gold. Uh, this is awesome. This is. This is what we played for. Uh, it was a tough series. We battled it out, and and that was this is just awesome. David, nine years. This yeah. journey has taken nine years to get back here to this point to the NLCS. <laughs> it feels good. It does. Right? It does. It feels great. <laughs> to answer your question, you know, it's it's um, we've waited a long time for this. Uh, this city, this fan base, this organization, and to be able to come out here um, with the Dodgers having home field advantage, we knew that we were going to have to face uh, Kershaw and Granke four out of those five games to. To win two of those uh, spectacular performance, I can't be more proud of this team. And it's three and one to Darno. Travis Darno hits it right off the casing of the home run apple, way beyond the 408 mark. It's straightaway center for Darno, his second home run of the postseason, and the Mets have a three to one lead. Wow, that ball was crushed. The one-two pitch, breaking ball, lifted in the air, deep to right, down the line, got a chance, might go. He did it! Home run! Unbelievable! Daniel Murphy does it again! He tucked it inside the foul pole down the right field line. City Field looks like it's going to come apart at the seams. Holy smokes! What's gotten into him? And Murphy takes a curtain call. That's what the fans wanted. Well, we just talked about it. The ball that Murphy hooked fall was a cutter down and in. This one is a breaking ball, a slow curve ball, and it's down and in. Murphy drops ahead of the bat. He's able to keep this one fair by maybe a foot or two, and it ends up in the seats. 
A nightmare first inning for Jake Arrieta. 2-1 delivery. Swing and a high fly ball right center field. That ball going to the track. Are you kidding? Daniel Murphy, one more time, buries it into the bleachers in right center field. Stop, drop, and roll. Daniel Murphy, incredible. The Mets take the lead 2-1. to one. And whatever the aliens did to Daniel Murphy when they invaded his body a couple weeks ago, Met fans say thank you. He had never before, Howie, homered in three games in a row. Only once that he done it two games in a row. This is now five games in a row. Move on the 3-2 pitch to Duda. In the air to center field. Well hit. Fowler back. Home run, Lucas Duda. And it's a 3-0 New York lead in the first. 3 for 24 in the postseason without a home run. And what a spot he picked. The 1-1. In the air. Deep right center field. That ball is gone! Daniel Murphy has homered in six straight postseason games. Nobody's ever done it before. Who writes this stuff? Ray Bradbury. Science fiction. It's not really happening. Can't be. And strike three called. They haven't been to the World Series since 2000, and the Mets are on their way back. At McFadden's, far from last call. That was 